dear scholars here is our next lesson which we are going to start which is titled as 2.2 a true story of sea turtles here the title itself has a word true so whatever story we are going to learn through through this lesson that is the true story but before learning the story let us think of warming up pre lesson activities so let's not waste time here is the sentence or dialogue it is our world too so who might be saying this so of course it is the dialogue of all those animals who are disturbed who are going to extinct or who are endangered all those species are asking we human beings to let them live and so here is the sentence or dialogue given it is our world too what is the first activity let us see observe the following photographs what is common among all these animals so here is the question what is common among them so answer is already given over here let us see they are all endangered species here endangered species means the species which are going to extinct they are likely to die out completely one of the reasons sorry one of the reasons being human activity in their habitat if these animals could think and speak like humans what would they say so it is the important question given over here what would they say so let us see which are those animals so here the photographs showing tiger monkey red wolf or indian wild dog and well so here the four are given there are also some other animals too but we have to think of these four so here the question is asked what is that what would they say or what would these animals say so to write the answer of the question we have to take the help of the given guidelines or points form groups of 5 to 8 prepare short autobiographical autobiographical speeches for each of these animals in 10 to 15 lines use the following points so using the given points we have to write the autobiography or autobiographical speech of each animal so what points are given let us see taking help of them we have to think of what can be written first point how the animal lives that is it's the only way he or she can next how the sorry how he interacts with nature and other animal so what is the relation of that particular animal with nature and also with other animals how humans interact with that species whether it is fair necessary or desirable etc this is important one how human beings treat how human beings interact with those species those animals and whatever human beings do is it fair is it necessary is it desirable etc 
that we have to think of writing next point the possible ill effects of the way human beings treat the animals for the whole living world so definitely there may be many ill effects what ill effects especially environmental balance will be disturbed ecosystem will be disturbed next the animal getting ready to bid farewell to this world so here the animals are there to leave this world they are here to die completely or they all are endangered and going to extinct so taking help of these points you need to write the autobiographical speech of each animal so while writing you have to use the pronoun i so that i will present the particular animal which you are writing about so i repeat what can be done in other words so you have to take the help of some other points too how will you write so you can write where the animal or that species lives what region or what continent it is next some of the physical characteristics of animal can be written what physical characteristics colors size etc next their food or food of that animal and how it how that animal gets that food that you can that you have to write next threat or danger to those animal what is the danger or what is the threat for those animal so it is about their habitat and another one hunting for no reason next you can write about their population what number they are what in what number they are alive today next ill effects of its extinction so if that species is extinct die out completely what will be the ill effects on environment or nature so food chain will be disturbed as i have told already environmental balance or ecosystem will be disturbed next urge to conserve it and here the last point you have to think of that animal is urging requesting we human beings to conserve it to save it so in this way taking the help of all the points given in the textbook and some other points whatever i told taking help of all these points you have to write autobiographical speech for each animal so what each animal tiger monkey red wolf and whale let us see the second activity hold a classroom discussion on the following topics and later on expand the themes on your own in 10 to 15 lines so as it is not possible to hold a classroom discussion just think of the remaining instruction what i underline expand the themes on your own so it is the question or activity for 5 marks according to 10 standard english pattern paper so same is there for you to so you must practice you must think of this question very carefully this question must be taken very carefully as this requires much practice let us see what titles we have first one why human beings need to use 
more and more natural resources as we all know human beings using the natural resources more than any other living being on the earth and it is increasing day by day so if it is going on definitely some of the natural resources will extinct some day they will finish for lifetime some day what are those coal right coal is one of them and other natural oils and many other things which will extinct some day so really is it necessary to use more and more so if we think of the extinction of those resources it is not need to use them more and more but it is need to conserve them to save them to use them sparingly so thinking of all these points and something more you have to expand the given theme in 10 to 15 lines so wh- while expanding it you must write the first paragraph as an introduction next paragraph is the detailed explanation and next one will be of closing conclusion of your writing so at least three paragraphs you have to use for expanding the theme next title should we conserve only the most beautiful and most useful things in nature so who we are to determine or decide something is beautiful something is useful something is useless or something is ugly or bad if we think of each thing definitely it is used by someone or something so nothing is useless it may be living being or non living being if we take the example of honey bees a small insect it is useful how that you better know we get honey and also it helps in the work of pollination but if we think of the wild animals you will say they are not useful to us may not be but they are useful to maintain the environmental balance because of them environmental balance is maintained and if it is disturbed for them definitely it is going to be disturbed for the human beings too so think of such points and expand the given theme third one what is beautiful or useful who has the right to decide it or decide that so as i previous as i told in about the previous title it is quite similar to it we can't say what is beautiful and what is useful everything everything is beautiful but it may not be for someone but definitely uh, it, it may be for other whatever things we think of about its use so something may not be useful for us but it may be useful for any other maybe person animal or or birds etc so we can't say what is beautiful and what is useful there is a proverb about beauty what beauty lies in the eyes of beholder so if we think of something is beautiful you must have that vision you must have that sight who has the right to decide that so definitely no whatever is present on the earth we 
we have not created ourselves so we don't have right to decide what is beautiful and what is useful so to explain it you can give the examples of something or someone so maybe non living or living things how they are useful to someone and not for others how something is beautiful in one's vision and how it is not in others so thinking both the things we can't say what is beautiful and what is useful sorry what is useful and what is useless as well as what is beautiful and what is ugly or bad or or something more so this is all about the activities given in warming up of the lesson a true story of sea turtles sea turtles i hope you all will understand this and definitely you will do the given activities easily whatever story is the true story that we will learn through the next videos